Well, I'm down to these finishing touches, but I'm not pleased that I can't see the eye sockets. And I know this is a risky move, but th this seems like something needs to come off here. This needs to come up here more, maybe. And at the risk of ruining this whole thing, I've got to see those eyes better. And the other thing, kind of not picky, but I don't like this thing here. I'm going to take this off right here so that these teeth are showing a little bit more. And although you'll, I mean, it's hard to see the teeth from anything but the side. But these eye sockets are not right. Oh, jeez. I find it best when you can't find the grain orientation or it's taken off too much. The rasp is the best thing to use. I think this one is looking better than this one. Ah, I think that's the look I'm going for right there. Now to match it on the other side. So it's back to the plexiglass. I'm gonna start here at the horn. Actually get two lines here. Then I can flip it. I'm not looking for exact symmetry, but I do want it to be a lot better than it is. pretty close. I'm pretty satisfied with that. I think I'll, uh, I can refine it doing sandy. One last thing I want to do before I put a finish on this is to make sure there's no outstanding swirl marks or anything. For that, I'm going to use paint thinner. You could use denatured alcohol or acetate or something like that, but I have more paint thinner than I have the others, and I think the others might be a little more expensive. This will tell me if there's any place I need to sand anymore. And this will dry 20 minutes or so, and it will not affect the finish at all. So far, I'm not seeing anything. I know there's going to be some rough spots back here, but they don't look too bad. I'm going to finish this with boiled linseed oil. And uh, it's going to look pretty much like it does right now. I'm going to take a flashlight and shine at different angles here. I 
I like it. I think it's done. That's looking good. But I'm going to give it plenty of time to dry. Christmas isn't until two days, so I made it. There is one more little thing I want to do to it. And that is try to break this edge off. This is uh, my probe from my college dissection kit. Biology 101 or zoology. And this is just a little hook. I thought about doing this with a veining tool, but I really want it to break. It's pretty thick up here, though. I like to make it look random if I can. One of the things I want to do is to use this rope to hide the joint between the horn and the skull. I've got the top listed here. I want this joint to be in the back. And I've tried clamping it and I just don't have any way of doing that. So I'm going to use some super glue. This is medium thick. And I'm going to start it right here. I'm just going to hold this. There's the top until it dries. So, to keep it unraveling here, I'm going to try to put a little super glue that's super thin. So I've got my old Stanley utility chisel here. Repeat for the other side. I love the smell of boiled linseed oil. I'm going to do the horns first. To apply this, you just use a soft cloth, and I've got an old sock here. You let it sit for about 10 minutes, and then you wipe off any excess oil. I'm liking that. Merry Christmas, Jake. Twenty nineteen. Miss Jake, you don't get a receipt with this. There's no place to return it to. So if you don't like it, uh, don't tell me. <laughs> I thought about burning this uh, crack in here, but I think I'll just leave it like it is. 
if I were going to do this again, I would make this top a lot thinner. And I say that because um, it would just, I, I just think it would benefit from being a little thinner. It's about a half inch thick at the thickest spot. And I think a quarter inch would be better. Let these sit here overnight. Ah, let these hang here overnight. And see what they look like in the morning. Merry Christmas, Jake.